Let's talk about the best structure for a live event. I'm gonna jump in the screen, share my screen so we can do a little sketching and talk about if you're a lender, what's the best way to format a live event for realtors? All right, so let's talk about the best format if you're doing live events. I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you like the video, give me a thumbs up on this video. Uh, subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have an idea of a topic we should cover. But, you know, in the Legion of Loan Officers inside of my group, we do a lot of live events. And typically those are going to be 60 minute, you know, wow, that's awesome drawings. So there are going to be 60 minute, 60 minute events, right? So if we talk about what does that look like, it's going to be like this. They're going to have a 10 minute section, a 20 minute section, a 20 minute section, and a 10 minute section, okay? So first, obviously this is gonna be more like the intro, right? Um, in the intro section, we're gonna be doing a couple of things that are important. Number one is we're going to thank the people that um, helped us uh, promote the class or our host, depending on where you're hosting it at. You know, you wanna thank whoever that is. And then you wanna thank anybody who helped you promote the class. So if you partnered up with like a title person or an insurance agent or a real estate um, inspector, any of these type of people, and they promoted your class and they're there in the room with you, you wanna make sure that you're giving them some love. You know, what realtors typically expect in those moments is that anybody who's a quote unquote sponsor, that they're gonna get up and they're gonna talk about how great they are. And we're not gonna allow that to happen because we wanna be different and uh, we also, the, you know, everybody gets long winded in those moments, right? So we're going to talk about them on their behalf. So that's what's going to be part of this intro is like the edification, right? So you got to edify your sponsors and your partners um, on their behalf. So if you have cool personal stories that you can tell, that kind of stuff, you want to give realtors in the room a reason to want to go and talk to them at the end. Um since they're not going to get up and actually talk about themselves, right? So we're going to do the intro. Um, we're going to edify our partners. We're going to thank the host. Um, we're going to, um, you know, see if anybody has any last minute questions. And then one thing that's important here, I'm going to try to write this out, is compliance, okay? We want to get people into compliance right away because think about this, right? Why are we teaching this class? We're teaching the class because we want to get loans, okay? In order to get loans from realtors, they're going to have to comply with like our process of how we take referrals in and what our loan process is, right? There's going to, it just partnerships in general require compliance, especially in a business sense. So the earlier that we can get somebody into compliance, especially knowing that later, you know, in some of these later segments, we're going to want them to do stuff. So we want to get them into compliance as early as possible. So that's why within the first 10 minutes, you know, you want to do some compliance exercises, whether that's forcing people to ask, answer questions, make people raise their hands, make them get up out of their seats, like whatever that is, you want to have some compliance exercises built in to take control, basically, right? Get them into compliance as early as possible. So this is what that first 10 minutes is going to look like. All right, the second 20 minutes is going to be the training segment. And this is what most people think the whole entire class is supposed to be about is and a whole hour of training. And that's just not the case, right? All we're trying to do on the training is demonstrate that we know what we're talking about, that we're a great partner for realtors and that they should want to partner with us. And that's what we're doing on the training, right? Is we're just simply flexing a muscle to demonstrate value and that we are valuable. That's what we're trying to do on the training is like give them just enough to be dangerous and to want to meet with you and get more, you know, learn more or actually become a partner with you and send you the deal. Because ultimately everything we're doing here, if you're following my kind of live event format, it's about getting the first client from a realtor partner. That's, that's the whole entire goal here is how do we get the first client? And that's what this process is intended to pull out, right? Um, through this through this process. So 20 minutes of training, sometimes it does go a little long, sometimes more it's like 30 minutes of training, 20 minutes of training, and also making sure that you're allowing plenty of dead space 
for questions, for audience interaction. You know, this isn't about how much knowledge can you shove down somebody's throat. It's like, we're just trying to make them love us. You know, if you're doing an event, I mean, think about that, right? Is it about how much knowledge does the realtor walk away with? Or is it about, did they walk away with a good enough experience to want to learn more about working with you and or to go ahead and send you a referral? That, that's, of course, that's the goal, right? We're not getting paid to do classes. We're getting paid to do loans, okay? So just remember that. So 20 minutes of training. Now, what, what I like to do is after the training, I like to do 20 minutes of doing, okay? Now, why is that? It's because when a realtor leaves your class, they go back to their normal life again, right? Everybody, when they go to an event, think about yourself, I mean, think about anybody that goes to mortgage conferences or anything else, man. Like people go to these events, they get all rah-rah, they go home back to their normal life and back to their normal routine and their normal schedule and day and, and everything they're doing already, right? Things don't change because when you have to go home and change it yourself, way more difficult than if somebody was to help create change during the event. So I like to have like 20 minutes of doing built into my classes because we want to make the realtor do something during the event so that they actually get a result and they like move forward and they get progress. You know I mean? If you can get them an actual like big result during the class, I mean, only naturally the human question is like, well, what else could you do for me? If you were able to do this in just 30 or 60 minutes, like what else could you do for me? Right? How else could I move my business forward faster if I was, partnering with you. Okay. So that's why I want to have a doing section where whatever you teach about in the 20 minute training, now we're going to make them implement something from the training. So whether it's, you know, shooting a video, doing a social media post, writing an email to their database, text, you know, whatever it is, right. There's, there's always options, but whatever you train on, think about something that realtors could do in the room that would make them feel as if they created a result or they got a result, okay? And that's gonna lead you into basically the outro, right? And the outro only has one goal. The goal is for realtors that you like to feel compelled to meet with you afterwards, okay? There's a few things that we're gonna do during the outro. Number one is, we're going to offer um, a Q&A opportunity for people to ask questions. It's also a last opportunity for you to, again, create compliance with people through some sort of compliance exercise, right? So give people a chance to ask questions, you know, again, kind of force compliance and then go into your pitch, right? What do you, what's next? What do you want people to do after this class is over? Right? How do they move forward with you? You know, how are you going to be engaging with them after the class is over with? So in my case, I like to make a pitch for a 15 minute Zoom meeting. So for, instead of going straight to an in-person meeting, I like to meet, meet on, with people on Zoom first, see if you actually like them. You know, it's easier to escape out of a Zoom meeting than it is an in-person meeting if they turn out to be like some kind of creep or a weirdo or whatever, you know? And um, so I'm going for a Zoom meeting. And then, and that's kind of my goal, right? Your goal, depending on what it is, this is where you want to make your pitch at the end here is like, here's what's next for us. If you thought this was awesome, you want to maybe talk about what it's like being an actual realtor partner with me. You know, here's, here's how we kind of talk about that conversation, okay? Um, and then the very last thing that I like to do is ask people for a favor um, in the class. And typically what my favor is is, is one of two things or both. One is, did you like this class enough that you would want me to come and teach this at your office? Like, do you think your broker would appreciate this class and I might be able to come and teach this at your office? Um, so that'd be one kind of um, asking of a favor. The second favor would be, hey, you know, it, it's really helpful if you would post about this class on social media. Um, feel free, let's come up and take a selfie or take a picture of the last slide. And, uh, and if you just talk about your experience here in the class, I would love for you to do that. That way, when people see other classes I'm doing in the future, maybe they want to show up because they know my classes are different. And because, you know, they see people that they love and respect talking about them and, and giving it their thumbs up. So, man, that'd be awesome if you could do that. I'd really appreciate it.
right? So that's kind of how I end the whole thing is I've given a lot of value. I've helped them even do something. And now I'm going to give my, get my first ask, which is, Hey, come up, let's take a quick selfie. And like, just talk about the class on, on Facebook and what you thought about it. And if it's different than everything else that you've been to before, you know, or if it's like the same. So this is like the structure that I like for live events right now. Um, it just works really well. It's different than what people are expecting. The fact that you're getting stuff done during the event, it makes them come back. It makes them talk about you on Facebook. It makes them bring a friend. It's everything that you want to happen, right? This is how you can go from having, you know, 10 people at one event, the next event you've got 20, the next event you've got 30 because people tell their friends, people hear that your events are different, your classes are different. Um, I created a whole series of classes based off of this format. I, I think there's around 20 classes today that we have available. Um, if that's something that would be beneficial for you, there's, you know, some information probably in the description or whatever um, about what it, you know, how we work inside the Legion of Loan Officers. If you'd like to have access to all those classes and everything that kind of comes with membership in the Legion. Um, again, hopefully you got value out of this class. I hope that you're out there doing live events. I think live events is the fastest way to grow a mortgage business today in terms of getting, in, in terms of through realtor partners, right? Because you get a chance to speed date realtors, figure out who you like, move forward with the ones that you do like. On average, with the classes that I have, we're converting about 15% or more of people who show up to the class into actual referral partners. So again, if you'd like to talk about that, look around here. Otherwise, let me know in the comments if there's a video, some kind of topic that you want to talk about. I really appreciate ideas and I hope you have a great one. We'll see you next time. Peace.